who attend some homelessness advocates at a city council meeting in Scranton last night to raise concerns about the recent removal of homeless camps by civilian groups throughout the city. They're also demanding further homeless prevention plans. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke to those advocates and is live with more on what they hope to see done by the city. Alicia. And the advocates I spoke with say that these homeless camps being destroyed is a major problem for the homeless community, as many of the people who lived in those camps have had their important personal documents lost, like their birth certific certificates and social security cards. Several of the people that I serve all the time, they've come to me crying, do you have a tent? They've had citizens um, go to their tents with knives and scissors and tear up their tents. Jennifer Reed is an advocate for the homeless in Scranton and actively provides meals and other forms of assistance to the homeless community throughout the city. She says the destruction of homeless camps is alarming and unfair. Throw all their belongings all over and then they have to start again with even less than nothing. And that really bothers me because they're just trying to make it like the next person. Reed adds that she herself experienced homelessness when she was young and understands how devastating an event like this can be. Aaron Lee, a currently homeless resident in Scranton, claims city employees, along with civilian cleanup groups, have participated in removing homeless camps, further trapping the homeless in a cycle of poverty. By cutting them up, destroying their own personal belongings, which is social security cards, birth certificates, and all their belongings, which will make them a stable person in society. In a statement given exclusively to Fox 56, the city of Scranton says, quote, the city has been made aware of some citizen organized cleanup efforts that have occurred at various sites recently. These are not city supported efforts. The city has undertaken its own cleanup efforts in coordination with private property owners to clean up dumping accumulated over the winter. Before removal, these areas are reviewed by both the Scranton Police Department and the Department of Public Works to make sure that the items are garbage and not personal possessions, end quote. Lee believes that the city needs to provide more support and solutions to the homelessness crisis overall. Where is the prevention of us being homeless? At some of these shelters, which is only one, this shelter only gives you 30 days. After your 30 days, you are welcome into being homeless. Reed and Lee say they will continue to attend city council meetings until the city provides a clear solution to the homelessness crisis. Reporting live, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10.